Oh hey guys, welcome to my bathroom in Europe and otherwise known as a water closet. So we've been thinking about doing this video for a while because coming from America there are a few different things in the bathrooms or water closets or toilets uh, in Europe that may be different from the US. So the first thing is you've got your toilet and normally in every bathroom there are two buttons to flush your toilet. There's a smaller button and normally a bigger button. To keep it simple, the smaller button is for number one and the bigger button gives a little more flushing power for number two. Alright, that's pretty simple. Next to the toilet, you're almost always going to have this other device, funny looking toilet. It's called a bidet. So, let's see if we know what the bidet is for. Kenzie, what do you use the bidet for? Well, I mean, everybody knows you put your foot in it with your shoe on and then you spray your shoe. It's a shoe cleaner! Um, and nice try, but Parker, what do you think? It's a colon cleaner. A what? A colon cleaner. Okay, well Parker's what the doctor pretty is. close to being right. So. The bidet, you, we, most adults kind of know what they are, but we really don't know how to use them. And I know I didn't know how to use it really as well either, but I've tried a couple times and think I figured it out. So you turn it on like a faucet, there's cold and warm, and sometimes there's a removable nozzle, but you basically just sit on it after you get the water to the right temperature you want, and then you can, let's say, clean yourself up and wash yourself up, uh, in the water. So that's supposed to be a little bit better than just using toilet paper. When you're done, there's normally a towel, but this is one of the smaller bathrooms that we've had in Europe. Next to the bidet where you can wipe your hands and your uh, nether regions, I guess. So the big key point is if you see a towel next to the bidet in any of the bathrooms that you go to, do not think that's a hand or a face towel. It's not. All right, aside from the bidet, the flushing buttons, there's another important thing to note in a lot of European bathrooms. I don't know how to say this, but sometimes when you go number two, uh, the way the toilets are designed, uh, let's say the number two doesn't always go directly into the water so you may leave some markings if you will on the porcelain of the toilet so next to every toilet there is what we call a poo brush so sometimes out of respect for others using the bathroom after you you may have to take the poo brush and maybe just do a little cleanup in the toilet uh, so as to not leave any remnants of, let's say, number two. And then, obviously, be sure to please wash your hands. Um, lastly, let's see, bathrooms. Normally, not in this bathroom, there's a washer in the bathroom. So you do your laundry in the bathroom as well. So that's another um, different characteristics in the bathroom uh, in Europe. And then our washer is actually downstairs in our other bathroom. And then lastly, when you're taking showers, there's usually, typically depending on where you're at, maybe only 20 minutes of hot water. So if the little ones take a long shower, you may want to limit them because if you're going to take a shower next, you may not have any hot water. So and anyway. do it again. Bop, bop. <laughs> That's the ins and outs of uh, bathrooms in Europe. And I hope that that may help you out on your next trip to Europe. And as a disclaimer, Brooke wanted nothing to do with this video. She's behind the camera right now and I don't blame her. So thanks for joining us and thanks for escaping the bubble from my Euro bathroom. Ciao. <laughs>